To me, the Sydney Opera is probably the ultimate building. It's uh, sort of extremely unique, the sort of landmark location on the waterfront of, uh, of Sydney. It's actually become synonymous with an entire uh, continent, Australia. So and it's, I think it's actually the most recognizable building in the world. Like, of course, when you see it, you instantly think, this is Sydney, this is Sydney Opera. You know exactly where you are. And I think what's, what's amazing about it is that on one hand, it's sort of unapologetically modern, but it also draws on all these sort of uh, more archaic building types. You know, it, it almost like resembles the Gothic vaults with the shells. It's, it's drawing on references to um, Chinese pagodas, these sort of light organic uh, elements sort of uh, elevated uh, on, a, on a podium. Also, it's sort of a Aztec temples, you know, this idea that in the middle of the jungle, you suddenly have these elevated podia upon which you built the actual temples. So it draws on this whole world of really, really fundamental archetypical uh, architecture and reinterprets it in a, in a completely uh, uh, unique way. And it was actually also born out of incredible uh, misery. Like, Jan Utsan moved to, uh, to Australia with his whole family, and after sort of a, a bit more than a decade, he actually gets fired from the job and is sent back to, uh, to, to Denmark. Um, the, the building actually ends up being completed uh, uh, without him. It went sort of 10 times over budget, so everything uh, was a disaster. But the final result is somehow worth all of the, all of the sacrifice and, uh, and all of the hardship uh, uh, in order to get there. For anyone waiting for the moment where, you know, waiting for your Sydney Opera and working towards your own Sydney Opera is, I think, what any architect ever dreams of.